Hi, hi fans, Randy Ingersoll here with another Play Hive Like a Champion video. In a recent interview for his upcoming book about the history of the Hive Online World Championship at BoardSpace.net, Frank Greasy, author of the book A Beginner's Guide to Hive, asked me if I had any advice for a new player who has ambitions to become the world champion. I mentioned four things. One, play a lot. Two, play players better than you. Three, Review a lot of games, both yours and other players. And while you're reviewing those games, look to see why the winner won, why the loser lost, and more importantly, what could the loser have done differently to change the outcome. And number four, ah, you're going to have to wait till the end of the video to see number four. The 2021 Hive Online World Championship at BoardSpace will be played later in the spring, and it'll be officially an invitation-only tournament this year. Of course, there will be a board space open immediately before the tournament, where you, anyone that wants to can join the tournament and play and earn an invitation to the championship. But for the first time ever, players from Board Game Arena will also have the opportunity to win invitations. The top four ELO ratings at BGA will be invited, as well as the top four finishers in the first quarter of 2021 arena competition at BGA. And right now going on is a six round Swiss system tournament, turn-based, where the top four players there will be invited as well. So for the first time, BGA players can earn invitations to the championship tournament. We're looking forward to a great tournament this year. The game in this video is my first round game from that Swiss system tournament at BGA. My opponent is Andrew from the state of Maryland here in the U.S. playing under the name Aclef. And sadly, I lost. So let's go ahead and get started with the game. Both players open with ladybugs. And if you review a lot of games of the top players, you'll see many players start with a ladybug. It's important to get a good defensive bug in play next to your queen. And a good defensive bug we define as one that's not constrained by the freedom to move rule, that when the opportunity presents itself, it can jump out. And even though the grasshopper also is a good defensive bug, the grasshopper at most can have six spots where it can jump to when it's finally freed. The ladybug, however, due to its three space unique movement pattern, has a lot more flexibility on where it can go when it jumps out. Much better about switching from defense to offense. White continues with an ant, and I play the black mosquito also in a defensive position. The white queen enters, and I follow with my queen. Now if you notice here, the player that plays the queen second gets to choose the queen formation. So in this case I chose the C queen formation. I like that formation. The white ant pins the black queen, becoming an anchor, setting up three spawn points here, here, and here using the mobility of the ladybug the black mosquito jumps out pins the white ant and does away with those three spawn points the second white ant spawns and here i'm almost forced to bring in my pill bug there's only one spawn point next to my queen and if i allow the white ant to move in will make it very difficult for me to get my pill bug into defensive position The white pill bug comes into play. I play a black ant. And the white mosquito spawns in this pocket right here. Notice by spawning inside the pocket, the white mosquito cannot be pinned. I pin the ant with my ant. And the white mosquito jumps out, pinning my black ant, leaving the pocket open, which as you will see, will become 
a beetle factory. I bring in another ant, and the white beetle spawns inside the beetle factory. It is now up and operational. The black ant pins the white mosquito. I, I don't want the white mosquito swooping in and gaining beetle power to climb atop the hive. Third white ant spawns. I bring in a black beetle in a defensive position. The white beetle climbs up. I was very, very happy at this point that the white ant did not pin my black beetle, but allowed the black beetle to be still used as a defensive bug. And I might mention right here that my first mistake in this game was underestimating my opponent. I had never played a cliff before, and he turned, turned out to be an exceptionally good player. By spawning the grasshopper here, makes it very difficult for the white ant to pin the black beetle. But the beetle factory is in full force, and the second white beetle enters the game. I bring in a black spider, threatening to pin the white ant, and the white ant escapes. Now notice, with both white beetles already in the game, I no longer had to be concerned about white beetles spawning close to the black queen. That would free the black mosquito up to join the uh, attack or defense elsewhere in the hive. So white made the excellent move of pinning the black mosquito. I bring in another ant, and the second white beetle climbs atop the hive. I will be able to stop one of the white beetles, but not both of them. I pin the pill bug. The white beetle approaches. I cover it, and the second white beetle covers my beetle. I pin the white ant so that it won't be able to be used in the attack. The white beetle moves forward, setting up a direct drop spot here. My second spider spawns in a position that does two things. One is it anchors the first spider in place so the white pill bug can't move it. And secondly, if a white bug spawns here or here, the black spider can move in and pin the newly spawned bug. White spider spawns in the direct drop spot, and I bring in another grasshopper. Here is probably my second mistake. I should have brought in my second beetle in a defensive position while I had the opportunity. This spot right here is available for spawning, but as you see in a minute, it doesn't stay that way for long. The white spider moves out to pin my black ant. And here is probably my third mistake. Jumping the grasshopper into the kill space is definitely a mistake. The white beetle moves out, and as you can see now, the black beetle no longer has a spawn point to be used defensively. So, still thinking attack, I spawn the second black beetle. The white grasshopper spawns, and again, here's another mistake. I should have jumped out with the grasshopper to pin the newly placed white grasshopper, even though if the white beetle covers the black queen, a direct drop spot again becomes available. When the white grasshopper pins my black grasshopper, my black grasshopper is now in the clutches of a true pin, and it will be extremely difficult for me to come up with a way to free that grasshopper. I'm continuing to attack, not thinking that the white spider will be able to get an angle of attack to this spot here. But the placement of the second grasshopper becomes an anchor where the white spider can spawn with a angle of attack. 
I definitely should have worked on this pen replacement earlier to get my ant free. But when the white spider spawns, I complete the pen replacement, but it's too late. The white spider attacks. And right now I'm in serious problem. Even though white only has one bug left, the grasshopper, if it's placed here, will have an angle of attack, while at the same time anchoring the white spider in place. Not realizing that the white grasshopper would just jump over me, I'm forced to pin the white grasshopper. When the final white grasshopper enters, anchoring the pill bug in place, the game is over. And I jump in with my beetle to end the game. What a great game, Andrew. Congratulations on a great victory. You can see there were some mistakes made by me throughout the game, starting with underestimating my opponent and not realizing how potent my opponent's attack truly was. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned four things that players should do if they're looking to improve and have a chance to win the World Championship. First three were play a lot of games, play games with players better than you, and review a lot of games. So now we'll talk about number four. And of course, number four is, buy my book, play Hive like a champion. Yep, had to get a plug in there for my book. Appreciate everybody watching. Thanks again. As always, there'll be two previous videos here and here. And if you haven't already subscribed, please press the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.